Our story today is called Mommy's Kamar by Jamila Tompkins Bigelow. A kamar is a flowing scarf that my mommy wears. Before she walks out the door each day, she wraps one around her head. In mommy's closet, there are so many kamars, so many that I can't count them. Black ones, white ones, purple, blue, and red stripes patterns, and polka dots too. Some have tassels, some have beads. Some have sparkly things all over, and she has my favorite color, yellow. When I put on mommy's kamar, I become a queen with a golden train. Under the kamar, my braids and twists form a bumpy crown. It's not easy to cover the many plates mommy puts in my hair. When I wear mommy's kamara, I shine like the sun. I dive and become a shooting star into a pile of clouds. Of course, I make sure that mommy doesn't see me. When I wear mommy's kamara, I am a mama bird. I spread my golden wings and shield my baby brother as he sleeps in his nest. Mommy shakes her head, but her eyes are smiling. When I wear mommy's kamara, I am a superhero in a cape, dashing from room to room at the speed of light. Daddy snatches me up and I fly. Mommy can't stop laughing when his bristly beard tickles my cheek with a kiss. When I wear mommy's kamar, mommy is with me. Even when she's away, I close my eyes. And if I breathe in deeply, really deeply, I smell the coconut oil in mommy's hair and the cocoa butter on her skin. And if I breathe in even more deeply than that, I smell the cinnamon in her favorite dessert. She always shares a piece. When I wear mommy's kamara and mom mom visits after Sunday service, she sings out sweet Jesus and calls me sunshine. Mom mom doesn't wear a kamara. She doesn't go to the mosque like mommy and daddy do. We are a family and we love each other just the same. When I go to the mosque wearing mommy's kamar, the older women coo. Assalamu alaikum, little sis. Mommy smiles so proud. My Arabic teacher exclaims, beautiful, beautiful hijab. Hijab is the word she uses for kamar. Sometimes I say hijab too. When I wear mommy's kamar and we go home and it starts to get dark outside, mommy tells me gently, take it off, it's time for sleep. She removes the kamar from her head and I remove mine. We hang them up for the night. I look around at all the kamars, too many to count. I stroke the yellow scarf one last time. close my eyes and breathe in deeply, really deeply. And if I breathe in deeply enough, I can take mommy's kamar with me. I place it inside my head. I take other things and place them there too. A crown with a train, the sun and a shooting star, baby dozing on a golden wing. I take a ticklish kiss in the sky, coconut and cocoa with a cinnamon sweet and the prayers of gray haired women. I take all these things with me and go to sleep. Though mommy is away, it feels like she comes too. And that is the end of our story today. Thank you for joining me.